It's also Celiac Awareness Week, so we have invited back to the kitchen goodbye gluten goddess Sally Holland. How are you, Sally? Very well, thanks, Mike. Good to have you back. Mark and Thank I are ready to do some baking this Thank morning. You. Yeah, I'm looking yes. forward to it. We don't do enough baking on the show, I don't think. Oh, well, I'm pleased I chose baking. Yeah, no, I'm yes. pleased too. And what are you going to be making for us this morning? Uh, we're going to start with some baby sultana cakes, Yum. and then we're going to do some date and orange scones. Oh, beautiful. I can smell the aroma mm. from here once we mix it up. Yes. And uh, Mark, when was the last time you did some baking? Oh, last why, time a while ago, actually. You have to keep an eye on me. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what to do. Oh, good, good. <laughs> great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen, and great to have you back on the show, Sally. We love a bit of baking. Thank it's you. Celiac Awareness Week. What better way to kick it off with having the goddess here in the kitchen? A um, brilliant <laughs> book, by the way. We'll talk about that a little later on. Let's get the recipe underway. Mark's itching to get going. Oh, yes. I'm going now. I'm hungry. So he's <laughs> going to cream the butter in the machine and the sugar until it's really light and fluffy. That'll take a wee while. Okay, a nice. A few minutes, and yes. And the first one we're making is? It's the baby sultana cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, celiac awareness week. What is celiac? Well, celiac is this disease that people have when they are allergic to wheat, rye, oats and barley. Okay. And, yeah. Well, that cuts out a lot of food, yes. doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, and this is why you, you got involved, because you, you know, you loved a mixer when you were mm, a baby. I did. You absolutely lived by it. You've worked with greats like Tui Flower over yes. the years. And then your husband, um, he's celiac, isn't he? He is. So you had to adapt your cooking, and now you're just sharing it with the rest of the That's country. That's right, yeah. And has it been difficult? Uh, in the beginning it was. Yeah. It was really difficult, but... He was diagnosed 14 years ago, right. so we've come a long, long way Ooh, since have. then. Okay, quite and a lot more people. Yeah, huh? a lot more people. Yeah. And the Celiac Awareness Week is amazing because yeah. it just does make people aware. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. Mm. And when you get good cooking out of it as well. <laughs> so where are we up to now, Mark? Uh, we're still creaming. Still, still creaming? creaming. Yeah. So he wants to yeah. cream together and he wants to go white, so that's what we're looking yep. for. I'm there for the scones, so don't put those in there. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this That's is good. The bake. <laughs> yeah, Joe, yes. Two recipes on the go here. Mm. Okay, so so this is good. So your book, 90 recipes. You say they're fail safe, which is great. Um, but what I liked about it too is that you cater for children's parties in yes. terms of the baking, because I guess a lot of children now well, have allergies. Well, they do. Yeah. You know, children are being diagnosed from babies as soon as they start eating solid food. Oh, and catering for a birthday party mm. for a child must be quite stressful for parents exactly. so get your book make exactly. some delicious recipes yeah. from that and everyone's happy exactly oh, and there's also um, in the children's chapter there's also recipes for school lunches things oh, yeah. that can be popped in the lunch box nice well I wouldn't mind mm. some of these sultana scones mm. and uh, uh, in there <laughs> so what are we doing yeah, now good. just whiz it up right so we're, we're just going to add the eggs one at a time it's quite we easy might have to scrape down scrape the sides of the bowl just to it's quite, it's quite easy. I know actually. how you feel now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Because it sort of goes up the sides of the bowl, so you have to give it a... We just have to make a bigger recipe then, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people there here today, go. so, you there know, it'll be good. Right, and then what, so we're back on. So yeah, back on, really high speed. Get it nice and creamy. And it's then sort of one egg at a time. Mm -hmm. Get it in, then next one. And these are large eggs. Right. Use, using large eggs is really good in gluten-free baking okay. because the eggs help bind everything together. Right. Mm. So I guess with baking, I mean, you've got wheat, which is just about in every baking product, isn't it? It's in a lot of things, but I came up with a gluten-free flour mix, right. which is um, pretty similar. It's so you can make you it can up get. and just keep yeah, it in the container? You can, you can. Okay, great. Yes. How you going there, Mark? Yeah, no, I think we're good. Oh, good. I'm going to yeah, give it a good, good. another little bit of a stir, a little quick mix, and then uh, then we're ready for the yep. uh, ready for mixture. The, we? um, we've got the sifted gluten-free flour mix and baking powder, and that goes in. And then we've got the raisins, or the sultanas actually, and the lemon zest. So we'll mix, nice. mix through the flour yeah. first. This recipe actually I got from one of my mother's old cookbooks. Oh, wow. Those old, old cookbooks that were like about that size and they had no photos in them. Wow. Sort of the old fashioned kind of cookbook. Well, speaking of old fashioned, Tui mm. Flower, one of the greats, I guess we'd call her New Zealand's Julia Childs. You had the pleasure yes. of working with her. Sadly, she passed away last year. What are some of the memories you have of her? What was she, she like in the kitchen? She was. A wonderful woman, really lovely to work for, but yeah, 
it was really good if she liked you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if she didn't like you, you better watch out. Right. But oh. no, she was fabulous. I learned a lot from oh, her. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. It was oh, really good. good. Brilliant. Hey, how you going yes, there, Mark? So you how going? Are you? I think, I think well, I'm ready. Do you I like Mark? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's that fantastic. Yeah. Oh, you, you, she yeah. likes you. You're all right. Yep. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> the, the baby sultana raw mix. Oh, brilliant. So now all you do is just pop them in. in do you the need to put some butter in here or have you got the right turn? They're non-stick. Non-stick. So there you go. Yes, you would need to butter them if they weren't. Okay, great. And we could use paper cases. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell mm. you what, we will let you do that, Sally. Thank you. You just stack them up because I am hungry. <laughs> we are helping Celiac Awareness Week with gluten free goddess Sally Holland. And uh, we've just finished putting these in the tray. I'm going to put them in the Beko oven. Is that Fabulous. all right? So they're ready to yeah, go? They're ready to go. Oh, yeah, okay, ready cool. And you can explain it. what the next one is. <laughs> yep. Okay. So now we're going to do the date and orange scones. And in this bowl, I've got the gluten free flour mix, the baking powder, baking soda and salt. Mark's going to whisk up a couple of eggs with some buttermilk and oh, yes. some cream. Nice. This is quite an easy scone mix because a lot of scones you have to cut the butter in or rub the butter yes, in true. with your hands and your hands get all messy. But this is much easier. Oh, we like it when it's easy. We like easy. Yeah, we certainly do. <laughs> What's the difference between gluten free and celiac? Well, when you're a celiac, you need to eat a gluten-free diet. Right. A gluten-free okay, cool. diet is the only treatment at right. the stage for being celiac. I see. Okay, mm. good. And how did your husband know that he was celiac? Well, he went to the he he goes to the doctor every year for a right. medical. Oh, good on you. Yeah. He's really good. Yes. And he had a really low iron count. Okay. Which is really unusual, and the doctor said you've either got um, bowel cancer or celiac disease and he came home and said to me I don't know what celiac disease is but I hope that's what I've got. Right, yeah, true, true. <laughs> and it turned out that it was. And it's manageable isn't it? Well it is. Yeah. You need to get straight onto a gluten free diet for nice. the rest of your life. Oh, and it changes people's yes. lives when they realise this, isn't yeah, it? You know? absolutely. I tell you what, if you need more details, goodbygluten.co.nz. Yeah, That's a great yes. website to start. And uh, if you want some delicious recipes, 90 recipes, you need to get Sally's book, which is available at yeah. Whitcalls, Paper Plus, all good bookstores, and, of course, at goodbygluten.co.nz. So you've made the mix. Yep, made the mix. It's looking pretty good. What else did you put in there? I missed that, oh, sorry. Just, some, just some chopped up dates <laughs> yeah. and some finely grated... Orange zest. Oh, yum. That smells sure. delicious from get here. It, get it all evenly mixed. I love orange. And, it's mm. and why are you using a knife instead of like a, just, a whisker or a spoon? It just cuts through it. Just, okay. It's just and you're not something I've it always now, done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just always used a no, knife. I love all these like, little so wives' this is, um, this is brown rice flour. I've actually started using brown rice flour in my mm. flour mix and it gives great results. I think it's just a bit more... More flavour. Yeah, bit, bit of flavour yeah. and okay, better, cool. better for you. Nice. So you don't even need a rolling pin. It's just shape it. I like how you keep things simple. This yeah, is great. Yeah, it's got to be easy. Yeah. It's got to oh, be easy. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing quite like a tasty scone, is there? And then, so, so what temperature are we going to bake these? We're going to bake these at two hundred. And that's just nice one for quick. me. Yeah. <laughs> nice and quick. Oh, she's cutting them up now. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yep. That tray I can do that for you, Sally. And you can just go on there, and then they're going to get the tops brushed the brush. with cream. And if you don't have one oh, of these fancy go. cutters at home, you can just use a um, just a use glass. a cup or a glass, yeah, yeah anything. Can. Or a knife. You or can a knife. Square. Square. Or just yes. do one big one. <laughs> and so I just paste them a little? Yes, please. Okay, cool. How much do you want? Just That's good. That's good? Okay, good. But that'll just make them nice and golden. Oh, yeah. On top, which is nice what we want. Work. I had one lady send me a message on Facebook saying sh these were the best gluten-free scones she'd ever had. Oh. She would, she's been a celiac for seven years and she was oh, yeah, really so overjoyed. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, and then when you've got this left over, you can just kind of... Pop it together again, re-roll it and, and keep getting more out of it. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing because you don't need to sacrifice on taste and flavour simply because you're making it gluten-free. You don't. You know? You don't. And I've got friends that are gluten free and you know when they come around for dinner they always bring their own bread and stuff. It would be quite well, nice actually good. to make them something. Yeah. You need the book, Mike. <laughs> no, no. I'm one of those guys. Oh, you got an allergy, have you bring your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now what you can do is be the hostess with the mostest and actually make your own. Here we and go. surprise them. 
We're all ready to go. I, I'll keep I carry on, but I'll You know speak. they'll be watching this and expecting that next time they come. I know. I, know. Yes. <laughs> I can email you some recipes. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Sweet. And as I said, don't forget to check out that website, goodbygluten.co.nz. It's always good that you come in, Sally. I it's a great start to Celiac Awareness Week. Your stories, your recipes, and your energy in the kitchen is so good. So thank you so much. Thank you. Great to see you. Thank cool. You. And also Mark helping out. Good on you, mate. <laughs> These recipes are on our website as well, by the way. Smells delicious. Thank you so much, Sally. My pleasure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's been fantastic. Can't wait to eat. Mark, what are you going to be mm -hmm. doing tomorrow? Well, I'm joined by another guest in the kitchen, and we're making something special for breakfast. Oh, yeah, I love breakfast. My favourite meal of the day, I reckon, actually.